Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm going to do a full face of my project pan makeup today. I like to do this when my project pan feels relatively new and as we're at the start of the year, we're in January, I do have a new project pan. I do have a couple of items that I've rolled over from last year but it is mostly a brand new project pan. So yeah, I thought I would do a full face of my project pan items and just show you how I use them and how they all kind of look together in terms of a full face of makeup. So I'm going to zoom you in and I'll just get started. So first things first, I would put on my Kiko Clear Lip Gloss to just hydrate my lips whilst I'm doing the rest of my makeup routine. But I already have a little bit of this on because my lips are quite dry after I did my skincare. So I'm going to skip that today because I've already got some on. And then I'm going to go straight in with my primer, which is by Revolution. It's the Super Base Primer. I did my skincare about 15 minutes ago, so I definitely need a little bit more hydration on my face before I go in with the rest of my base products. During the week when I'm getting ready for a work day, I don't put this primer on because I put my makeup on about two, three minutes after I put my SPF on. So I don't need to go in with the primer. So my usage of this primer when it comes to my next update video won't be as high as the rest of the products. But despite that, I can still see that this is going down a little bit. So I am seeing progress despite not using it as often as the rest of the products. This isn't a project pan item, it's my under eye corrector, but it's an essential every time that I do my makeup just to help correct and disguise my dark circles a little bit. It's by Bobbi Brown. So I like to have one of most makeup categories within my product pan, so I'm not doubling up too much on the same type of makeup product. I do have a foundation type product in this project pan. It is a CC cream and it's by Aborin. And I have actually scraped out the rest of the tube and put it into this little tub here. So this is all that I am left with. I think this is gonna roll over into the next, <laughs> the update after the upcoming update. I don't think I'm gonna be done with this one by the next update, but that's fine because there's not much of this left so it will be an empty by the, I'm confusing myself, it should be an empty by the update that goes out beginning of March. I panned a foundation before working on this product and it's so nice to move back to a lighter coverage base product. It just looks a bit more radiant, not as heavy, not as full coverage. It's just my preference to go for something lighter than a standard foundation. And this blends in really quite lovely. As you can see, it goes on white and then once you start blending it in, it kind of adapts to your skin tone in a way. It's a bit of an odd product, but it's really lovely. The BB cream is really nice as well. More coverage than the CC cream, so I do prefer the CC cream, but they are both lovely base products. This is also not a project pan item. It's my only concealer, so there's no real point kind of putting this in the project pan. It's by Vive, but I'll just pop a little bit of this on and let it sit whilst I do a bit of contour. So for contour, I've got the e.l.f. Halo Glow Stick or Wand. This is in the shade Fair Light, so it's fairly cool toned. And I don't do much with contour. I just put a bit on the sides of my forehead just to help to soften that a little bit because I find that my hairline is a little bit square put a bit on my chin and then just some down, I think I need to squeeze a little bit more of it, there we go, some down the sides and the tip of my nose. And then I just use the same foundation brush to blend that out. And then because I'm lazy and I use the same brush, I'll just wipe off the excess on the back of my hand and then blend out the concealer. My cream bronzer is the Revolution Ultra Cream Bronzer and this pan is just getting bigger and bigger. I think this will be an empty in the March update, beginning of March. I think the pan is now so big that it's a bit awkward to kind of get my brush into it. I'm really having to be quite precise getting the brush around the edges of the product. So I obviously get some on my brush and then I just work a bit into my hand to kind of get rid of the excess. And then I do a bit of, a bit of patting and then a little bit of 
swirling because I find that doing that doesn't disrupt the base underneath it but it is dependent on what foundation you're using because some foundations will move but mine doesn't or well, this product rather doesn't. I had a comment on a recent video that one of my viewers has bought this bronzer because they had me raving about it and they really like it so that's quite nice that people are buying products that I've said that I like and they're, they're liking them as well so that's nice. Right blusher next I have four <laughs> I suppose blushes in this project pan which sounds really crazy but two of them I am close to using up I hope that I'm going to finish off both of them in the first quarter the first one I've also had to cut open and scrape into another pot this is my V sunset blush balm in the shade pesca so this is all that I have left of this it doesn't look like much but because it's a liquid you don't need too much of it so I think that this will be an empty for the beginning of April update actually I don't think this will be a March update so for this I just take my finger dip in and then pop some on the back of my hand like so and then this is my second blusher this is by Rare Beauty this is their cream blusher in the shade nearly apricot so I dip my brush in twice and then I blend it in with the Vive one on the back of my hand and then it just pat it on to my cheeks and it's just a really lovely combination because they're quite similar colours so with the Rare Beauty blusher you can see in the middle that I've got a hole and that hole is getting bigger and bigger but I now have a much smaller hole to the side of it I don't know if you're going to be able to see that and this is getting really flat there's not much product left in here so I do think that this one should be an empty in the first quarter and that would be really exciting because then that's two blushes that I have used up because it is quite difficult to use up blushes. It is more difficult to use up a powder one, granted, but even still, it does take a while to use up blushes. Just set this with some setting spray. I don't have much of this left. I think I've probably only got like a couple more uses left of this this is my only setting spray I don't know if I'm gonna buy one straight away I think I'm gonna spend a week or two doing my makeup without using a setting spray and see if it really makes much of a difference if it does then I'll just buy another one and I can do that because I'm on a replacement only no buy so because I won't have any more after using up this one I can then buy one if I want to just gonna powder because I'm looking very shiny this isn't a project pan item but this is my mini Givenchy Prisme powder in the shade 2 satin blank it's such a cute little mini you twist the lid off and then you get a little powder puff on there and then you've got some holes for each of the four colors that you tap out into the lid and then swirl the powder puff on and then I use that for under my eyes and my t-zone okay let's finish the cheek products I want to completely finish off this face palette which is by Vive I completely finished off the powder highlighter last year so I'm now working on the two other blushes and the bronzer first up the bronzer I, I did say in my project pan intro video that I think I'm going to hit pan very quickly in it and I have and the pan is just getting bigger and bigger these powders aren't very deep they're quite thin powders so that has helped with hitting pan in it quite quickly and then also the pan getting bigger quicker as well so that one might be completely used up in the first quarter might be I, I'm not too confident about that because I think I could get a really big pan like hardly any of the bronzer left but to completely use it up I'm not sure and then these are the other two blushes that I'm trying to use up this year so I tend to just dip my brush a few times into both of them work it into the back of my hand and then I've got a combined blusher the shades are really lovely one is like a really light soft peach and then the other is a very light pink but it's not an obvious bright pink it's really toned down and soft it's a lovely color so these are really lovely for like everyday blushes which is great because I'm panning them because I want to use them both up so it means that hopefully they can just go with a lot of other makeup looks and then highlighter is from my hourglass 
leopard palette it's this middle one here which is a lovely warm yellow gold this palette is fairly new but I don't want my project pan items to just be focusing on old makeup or makeup that I'm not as keen on I don't want new makeup that I really love like this palette to just sit there untouched whilst I work on other products so this is my only powder highlighter so it made sense to just put this one in the project pan and get it get it used just start using it all right we'll do some eyeshadow now i'm just going to prime my eyelids with my mac paint pot in painterly first i want to use up a lot of eyeshadow this year so i have two mac shades that are in my project pan if i can even open them there we go i've got these two woodwinked and patina and then i do have a separate pan those eyeshadow palettes challenge that I set myself this year so I want to completely use up this ABH Norvina and Modern Renaissance palette and then I also want to completely use up the remaining six shades I cannot open my palettes today in this revolution reloaded hypnotic one now when I do my makeup for work because not that I'm really pushed for time but because obviously I need to you know log on at a certain time instead of dipping into a couple of different palettes I tend to just focus on this one at the moment I did say that I want to maybe start working on the revolution one first and get that one used up but I think I'm just going to use both of them at the same time and just dip into whatever palette that I want to dip into on that day so I'm going to stick with the ABH one. I'm going to go for, this isn't Born Fresco, I can't remember the, the name of that shade, that was one of the Norvina ones that I put into this Modern Renaissance palette, but either way it is just a matte ivory shade which is just great for setting my eyeshadow primer. And this I think is going to be a really easy palette to possibly not completely finish up within the year but to get some really really good progress on because already this month so far I've seen some good progress in quite a few shades. I've hit pan as well in a couple of shades so the progress is going really well at the moment and what I'm trying to do is just dip into as many different shades as possible when I do my makeup each day. So instead of using like two or three shades I'm trying to use as many of them as I possibly can. I do try to use a couple for like cheek products as well so like contour and blusher so I tend to use about three different like warm brown shades in my crease. So with MAC and Patina what I tend to do is just combine both of them instead of wearing them separately so I use a flat pack brush and I dip into both of them about four times because MAC Patina in particular isn't that pigmented you do need to use quite a bit of it so I just dip my brush in quite a few times into both of them to make sure that I'm getting enough enough pigment but together they're a really lovely combination really beautiful like bronzy khaki shade and the shimmer isn't too obvious or too overpowering and because of the tones of them as well they work really nicely with this palette and also the revolution one as well so that helps in wearing lots of these shades together right let's go back to the abh palette i think i'm going to go for primavera just to lighten up that inner third of my eye i tend to use my fingers for these shadows but for today i just felt like using a brush it can get quite messy filming makeup videos like this so anything I can do to reduce the mess I'm gonna do and I really like that that's just a very pretty neutral warm brown eye definitely my kind of colors just popping some of that primavera in that inner corner and just a little bit under the brow bone I think the shimmers are going to be the shades that are going to be finished with first because they are very soft. I've got pan in I think all of the shimmers now. Yeah, all of the shimmers so they're going to be the first ones to go and then the two ivory shades. And then just pop one of those <laughs> warm browns under the lower lash line. I've got a couple of eyeliners in this project pan. First one is this brown Kiko one which I don't always want to put on when I've done my eyeshadow sometimes I feel like it kind of detracts from how pretty the eyeshadow is 
closes up my eye a bit but I've got to get it used up. I did try at the start of the month tight lining with this but my left eye waters quite a bit when I do that and to be honest it waters when I put eye makeup on anyway so so I don't line all along the top lash line because it does close up my eyes a lot I tend to kind of focus it halfway and out and then I just smudge with the smudger and then my second liner is a nude one for the waterline just opens up my eye a little bit this isn't project pan but I do this whenever I do my makeup anyway like with the under eye corrector this is just a tinted brow gel from Merit I think mine is in the shade blonde really good match for my brows and it's a really lovely product because it's not really wet and really heavy it's it's a really lovely product to work with it finely and evenly but slowly as well disperses product across your brow so I find it really easy to work with nearly done so just a final spray of setting spray mm, it's quite uneven now there were some quite heavy spurts in that one okay nearly there just gonna do a couple of coats of mascara and then we'll finish up with the lip products that are in the project pan I'm going to be throwing this mascara away at the end of the month because that would be six months since I've opened it and started using it but there doesn't seem like there's much product left in here now anyway so I think even if I didn't follow the, the strict like six month rule I'd be getting rid of it anyway because it is quite difficult to build up enough product on my lashes now it's the East Saint Laurent Lash Clash Mascara in Brown Okay, lips. So there's five lip products in my project pan. The Kiko lip gloss that I put on at the beginning, which has now mostly worn away. And then I have these three here. The other one I may have already finished off. But here I have a lip liner, a liquid lip and a lip gloss. And these are all in shades of pink. So these are really nice to wear together and that's helping me use them up. This is my NYX lip liner in natural. I'm hoping this is gonna be finished by the February update. I am focusing on wearing this every day at the moment and after a couple of uses I need to sharpen this so obviously that's helping me get through it as well. So I pop it all over the lips and it's a really lovely warm natural brown pink so great for an everyday soft lip. And then next is my House of Colour Liquid Lip. This is in the shade Nearly Nude. It's a very thin, lightweight liquid lip. Again, a great, natural, everyday warm brown pink. And very easy to apply. Whilst I'm just waiting for that to dry a little bit, so how I I suppose do my makeup in the morning is that I keep all of my project pan items in this makeup bag here and then I empty this out onto my dressing table and then once I've used a project pan item I put it back into the bag so I can then see on my dressing table the products that I've got left to work on so that's really helping me to make sure that I use most if not all of the project pan items when it comes to doing a full face of makeup on a daily basis. So this is a really lovely liquid lip, it is very thin, lovely formula, great colour but because it's a liquid lip it is ever so slightly uncomfortable on its own like this. So I do like to go in over the top either with a lipstick but in this case I'm going to go in with a lip gloss. This is the Bobbi Brown lip gloss in the shade In The Buff. I'm panning this because the colour on its own is not the right colour for me, it is a little bit too cool toned. But when I wear it with other lip colours like I've done today, it doesn't come across that cool tone. So that's how I kind of prefer to wear this one. It's a lovely, lovely formulation though, beautiful lip gloss. It's just that the shade itself is wrong for me. But this is how the three of them look together. And then the last step finally is my Hourglass Finishing Powder. This is the Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffuse Light. I just take a blusher brush work it in and then I don't know if I'm using this right but I just apply it over the cheeks just to help blend in 
all of those cheek products together and then whatever's left I do my t-zone when I first bought this I liked it and thought oh yeah this is like the final finishing touch to my makeup but now when I put it on I'm like do I really need it did that really do anything let me know if it did or didn't I don't know am I applying it right who knows but anyway this is the final look this is my full face of project pan makeup I will just take my headband off and zoom you out and there we go that's how it looks zoomed out so this is pretty much my daily go-to makeup at the moment this is the year for me to use up a lot of my makeup so my project pan is quite busy I think there's something like 17 18 items in it at the moment but I'm not duplicating too much there's a couple of lip products that are duplicates a couple of cheap products but as you can see I am actually able to kind of wear them all at once and I've got those different eyeshadows that I can kind of interchange as well so yeah this is my kind of my daily makeup a full face of project pan items so thank you very much for watching if you're doing a project pan please let me know how yours is going I will be having my project pan update video at the start of February and so far so good I'm seeing progress already in a lot of my items and I have also finished up one as well which is exciting so yes I will see you for that one plus other videos in the meantime so I'll see you soon Thank you very much guys, bye!